And here we are. Mitch is packing the, the mold for a cylinder head for his right engine. You missed the cylinder head. Yeah, we'll see that when we take it out. Okay. But the cylinder head pattern is laying down in there. You can see it peeking through every once in a while. Yes. And uh, so this would be the, the bottom of the mold. I don't know if that's the cope or the drag. I don't remember. What a drag. Yes, let's have to cope with it, I guess. <laughs> okay, we flipped the mold over. If you take a close look, you can see the pattern in there. It's got an X on it. We put the pour tube and the vent tube in. And now the upper portion of the form mold cavity. Okay, now the top has been packed. And he's Mr. Mitch here. Say hello, Mitch. Hello, Mitch. Is uh, <laughs> carving us out a funnel shape into the sand for the metal to funnel its way down into the pattern. Okay, so now we're going to pull out the uh, the pouring sprue. Out it comes. Two. Everything around us can be represented and understood through numbers. There we go, an event. Three. If you graph the numbers of any system, patterns emerge. Therefore. Okay, now we're going to remove the top. But what about the stock The universe of numbers that represents the global economy. Millions of human hands that work, billions of miles, oh. a vast network, a screen of life. And we're going to Pretty. A natural okay. My hypothesis. Cut some channels here for the metal to flow in from the sprue. And the little dust that falls down in the sprue hole will just pack it down in the bottom, it won't hurt a thing. Same thing here with that. Okay. That's probably good. Take that little something and pack it down. I don't know if that'll go down in there or not. Okay. That's not quite as important because that's going out. Yep, up and out. This is perfect. It's really doing a good job. Okay, now we're going to take a screw and pull the, That's perfect. Pull the pattern out. Perfection. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. This is the tricky part right here. The screw in a little bit and tap on it sideways a little. That'll kind of well. I kind of wiggle it when yeah. I'm pulling it out. I was gonna say tap on the screw with the little handle and kind of knock it around side to side a little bit. There you go. Now yeah, let's see what happens. Give her a little wiggle. And up she comes. There's some more over here on this side. I just don't think there's much. It's just going to be a, a flange, a flash of metal. There. Yep, and that's okay. Yep. Okay. Purdy. Okay, and there's the pattern right there. Okay, and now he's got a core that he's going to put in there. To make a water jacket. And we'll come back to that later. Yep. Okay. Okay, here we are with a little bit better light. Here's the core pattern for the water jacket going in. Okay, there it is. Going down in there, right where. 
far she goes. Very, very delicate. That's it. Okay. As you can see, I think it leaves a little bit of space underneath it and around it. With the port. Okay. Now the little really back on. Looks really, really good. Yes, it does. Okay, here's the lower crankcase pattern, the actual oil uh, sump, and there's its core that was made from it. Fits right in. And here's the, uh, the upper sand pattern made from this right here. Okay, and then here's the lower right here. This core is going to go right into that. Oops. Glad I didn't destroy it. He's registering it on some talcum powder. Looks like it needs to shift that way here. Yes. That looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, we melted the metal. And I'll go put it on. I know you can't really see it in here, but this is the forge. <clears throat> got the propane tank. Got a little electric fan. We got propane coming out of a regulator being injected right here and adjusted by that valve. Let's get a little the fan video of it in there. We it up this next time. Yeah, we're we, running full blast. We will. And then here's the two cylinder heads and the lower crankcase. There's the lower uh, crankcase. Have been right. poured. So you can see the aluminum is up and up. And we got a little overzealous with this aluminum, but we'll throw that in for the next batch. And there's the extra aluminum out there. Aluminum muffins. Aluminum muffins, yum, my favorite. With a little okay. butter. A few more minutes and we can see what we got. Okay, well here's the first cylinder head mold. We've waited 15 minutes. And opening it up to see what she looks like. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Look at that, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're gonna melt my plastic bucket there. Oops. There you go. It's looking pretty good, I'd say. Damn, that looks good. Looks like a lot of your uh, detail made it through. There's your core sticking out. There's the core. Yeah. How about the other side of it? All right. Well, you got some nice detail and feature on there. It looks just fine. Look at how good that came out. Yes. How that came out looking. I don't see really any too many uh, bad spots. You got quite a bit of bubble in there. What's yeah. that up? What's that about? Don't know. This is loose okay. sand, I guess. Loose sand. That can be the only thing I know of. I think that's going to be okay. Okay. All that right. looks pretty darn good. All right. <laughs> okay, this is the second cylinder head. And uh, we have a failure here. Shouldn't be able to do that. That's the uh, water jacket there. Came through to the top. I think we think it shifted in the mold when we poured the metal in. Yeah, it just got didn't. too close, or it broke one of the other. Yeah, maybe it broke. Whatever reason, it came so all the way through there. We got one more uh, core in there, and we're going to try one more time. This side, the reveal. Okay. Hey. Oh, look at that little. Uh, yeah, surprise. a little run in there. That's nice. Now, see, this is all okay because that's machine. That's extra surface. Right. Right in there. Oh. oh shoot a mighty. What in the world is that? A big hole. Dang it. How in the world is that? I wonder why that did not work. Is that. it too thin? Oh, we had several fails. We had several fails. We gotta have vents right there. We got air pockets trapped in there. Gotta have some vents. We gotta poke a hole in the sand. To have a vent. Would you look at that? At those high locations, because that's at the top. There was a bubble. Right. It was an air bubble. That's exactly bubbles, what it yeah, was. Bubbles. Man. There's the. There oh, we the don't core. want that in the sand. We don't want to do that. Mm mm mm. Came out okay. good otherwise. Two failures and one success. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're learning. And the one success has not been truly evaluated yet. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> okay. You got her. Okay. All of the first three castings were a failure. Johnny's having a little trouble over there with a handle. Oh, let me see the handle. There it is. 
He's trying to split wood with a handle. It's not working. But this one came out much better. Where's the one we cut in half? Did you already take that out to the car? Okay, all right. Pretty good surface finish, and there's no sign of the core pattern coming through the surface. So we believe we got a need four, and we've got the first one. one and we got one successfully. We got one. It looks pretty darn good, really. Okay, now we're gonna the lower crankcase half bottom oil pan was a failure as well, but we put vent holes in the pattern in the sand, uh, and Shit, we're about to we're about to see what it looks like. This is the upper half. We can't pour another lower half because we're out of core patterns. So we're going to open this up in just a minute. Language, son of a. All right, <laughs> we're all being recorded for YouTube now. <laughs> all right, how's it look? Oh. Hey, we might have something there. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? There's the core pattern. Hey, well, look, in place. I'm looking at the top. I'm seeing the top. It's looking pretty good to me. This is looking promising. Got something. Maybe we got something. Just look at that bottom again. That looks just fine. Absolutely, look at those big, look at those big uh, flow paths. Yes. Well, hopefully, What's that you got a little bad spot there. It looks like some loose sand or something. But, but you know what? That doesn't matter because this see, that all off. that right there is extra. extra. Okay. Look how black that sand got right I there. See it. Look how nice that surface finish is under that. Break them little vent snouts right off of there. There you go. Ah, that stuff is hot. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. Oh boy. You know what? I think you got maybe I got a good one. That's a six.